If I had to quit hunting today and I had to go to town and get a nine to five job, I'd get fired first day. I really wasn't a model perfect child. When I was a kid growing up in Illinois, I didn't like authority. I didn't like being told what to do, no matter who it was. They took me into the juvenile courts and they were gonna put me in a boy's home. I'll never forget, my parents were there at the hearing, and they asked the judge, well, his godparents live in Nome, Alaska. Can we just send him to Nome, Alaska? The judge looked over at me, over his glasses, said, I don't care where you send him, just get him out of my town. There I am, on my way to Nome, Alaska. When I picture Buck, I always think back to the Marlboro Man. Any guy that pairs blue jeans with a jean jacket has a, a layer of confidence that you just can't cut through. You know, he's kind of old-fashioned. He doesn't do anything fancy. He put his winter outfit on, which are the same jeans, but he has a baseball cap that he, he saw on some ear flaps. He was at the kitchen table, and he's got a Wolverine skull on the table, and he's picking the meat off with his jackknife and eating it. I was always really into the mountain man era, the early 1800s. I just always wanted to follow that lifestyle. It was always, to me, so romantic. In 1976 is when I actually homesteaded the land here. I remember uh, seeing this place on the map, you know, the lake. I loaded up the horses. Well, let's go see if we can find it wandering our way through through the trees, and right out in the middle of the lake, there was a big old bull moose. He'd go down, he'd come up, and I remember lily pads dripping off of his antlers, and I looked and said, this is home. This is where I'm gonna be. I started staking it, and been here ever since. There we go, and I'll go ahead and back out and pull this up. When I was a kid, I made friends with some of the natives. They would show me what it is I was hunting for. After that first initial introduction to hunting, I got the fever. Got to where all I wanted to do was hunt. Who needed school? Living out here, hunting was not only something I enjoyed doing, but survival. Sometimes I'd be out here by myself for three or four months without any contact of any people. Looks like they're about to turn our forecast into the truth, aren't they? Yeah, kind of, you can almost kind of smell it coming in. My passion for hunting personally has slowed down, but the passion is still there for guiding, for seeing somebody else be successful at hunting, taking somebody out calling a moose in for him. Waiting endless hours on a salmon stream for that right bear to show up. I mean, I still get a huge thrill out of that. The love for guiding comes with meeting good people and people that have the same, same passion that you have. I'm just putting up the uh, some temporary joys. I'll never forget. We had been gone all day going up to the ridge to open up the trail and get some camp set up for some hunters that were coming. We pulled into the yard. We saw these flames coming out of the barn. Was, we were coming in grabbing jugs of milk, cans of beer, anything wet. The fire was already completely out of control. We've got fire falling on top of us. All of a sudden, some gas cans blew that were in there, and it blew us back 20 feet. The fire jumped from the barn to the outhouse, and now it's jumped over to the woodshed, and we fought it till 3 in the morning. My daughter called me the next morning. She heard there was a fire, and no, nobody knew if you were OK or not. And, uh, and then that, that's when I started crying, too. 
I'm looking around, my whole life going up in flames here. Man, it took me 40 years to do this. Now I got to do it all over again. This is one of my favorite places to come and just sit. In the springtime, things are starting to grow back. There's kind of that moldy, musty smell. I just love it. And, uh, and you know, it's kind of like a bear coming out of its den. You just lay there and you just enjoy the day. Really happy with what, what I've done. You know, I think I've accomplished my uh, my, my goals in life is what I've done. You know, I've always, you know, since I was a kid, I always wanted to fly, or I always wanted to build a log cabin from scratch. If you have the passion to do it, then, then you're gonna do it well. At least those are my thoughts, anyway. Yeah.